Okay, so I've got the set of images here that I'm gonna go over cropping and collaging and some quick adjustments with you. Um, here's my friend Bill. He's one of my photography mentors. We'll zoom in on Bill. He and I like finding abandoned places or cool places to go on day to day trips and photograph together. Um, the place of these collection of photos that I'm be cropping and collaging is from Moreland Place in uh, Gray County around Owen Sound. So the first thing I'm going to go, go over is the crop tool here. So you click that, click off to the side. The crop tool lays out the rule of thirds for you with the horizontal bands and the vertical bands. Up here under the crop tool, you can kind of switch the ratio around if you want a square ratio or something more locked in. I like the free transform ratio here where I can move it around to whatever I want. You can also, if you're clicking on the image, you can move it around under the crop tool here. So if you want that cropped, you right click and then you select crop. If you don't want, if you decide you don't want the image cropped, you just hit the escape bar and you have to hit it a couple times and then it's done. So let's go to the crop tool in this image. Maybe I want this set to a square ratio. See, I do find this a little finicky sometimes. You think you're grabbing the crop and it's accidentally grabbing the uh, photo. There we go. So let's make sure I'm grabbing the edge here. I'm going to right click on this and then hit crop. Go over to my next one. If I don't want the square set anymore and I want it more like a free transform, I pick the height and width resolution. And then that allows me to stretch and crop wherever that I would like it. So right click, let's crop that. Maybe I could remove some of the grass here, tighten that up, right click and crop. All right, so I've got my things cropped. And then what if I want to bring some of these images over into Bill here and make a collage? Um, I'm going to drag, click and drag this off of here. If I want these docked back on, I just click up here and it docks it back on there. So I have this photo undocked from the top here. I can go to the move tool and then just click and drag my photo over to join Bill. And there it is there. So I'm just going to click off this, go to my move tool, move that over here. And you can see as I'm moving the images over, you know, they're stacking in their layers here, right? So here's my next one, click that off, move that over here to join Bill. I obviously need to change the scale if I want to start making a collage. So I go to edit into the transform area, command or control T. I'm just going to change the scale of these things, hit enter. Now, if I want to make a quick adjustment to some of these images, because they're just right off my camera in here. I've got the layer selected. Just go up to image adjustments. Maybe go to levels here. Do a quick levels adjustment. So if I'm just doing quick adjustments, I just go to levels, hue, saturation, and stick with that. You can change the hue if you want. Change the saturation. Turn this off. Turn this back on. Command or control T to scale this. I can rotate that if I wanted to to make it a little more collage-like. Hit enter. Image, adjustments, levels. Command T to, or Control T to change the scale of this one. Hit enter, image. Let's try, instead of increasing the saturation on this one, let's decrease the saturation. And some other quick adjustments are over in the toolbar here, the um, dodge and burn tools, dodge lightens and burn darkens. So if I select the dodge tool, start clicking on the area here, I'm gonna zoom in here, select the dodge again, increase the exposure, and I can start lightening up areas if I need to. Create a little dodge and burn. Go back to the burn tool here, and burn some areas if I want. So before I know it, I could start creating some sort of collage-like 
image if I want to. You can shuffle the layers around. If you want this layer below the other ones, you could just click and drag that down, click and drag that layer up. Command T, Control T, drag off to the side, lets you rotate it. And all that kind of rotation and scale stuff for a specific image or layers under edit. And the transform, here's where they all are here. Rotate, scale, all that business is up here. If you want to flip something, it's down here. So you want to flip that horizontally, there you go there. I don't want that, I'm gonna undo that. Um, let's say you wanted this image as a circle. You could go up here to your marquee tools. They give you simple rectangular tools and elliptical tool. So if you wanted a circle here, you could just go pick that. If you hold the shift key down while you're selecting your marquee tool, it changes it proportionally. If you let go of the shift key, it doesn't really create as a perfect circle. And if I'm holding the mouse down and everything down at the same time and clicking the space bar at the same time, which is super confusing, I can move the um, mar elliptical marquee tool around where I want and get that into place. And then I'm on this layer here, and then I can just copy and paste. So if I go Command or Control C, Command or Control V for copy and paste, I now copy and paste that into its own layer. Uh, another way, if you wanted to, you know, kind of create more of a random cutout image, you have access here to the lasso tool. Make sure you're on the correct layer here. Go to the lasso tool. Click and drag that around, Command C, Command V, and then you've got your kind of cutout shape there. I don't like that, so I'm going to delete it. If you want more of a controlled um, cutout selection, the polygonal lasso tool is an easy tool to use. You just sort of click and it does it in polygons, so it does it kind of like jagged edges, but it gives you more of a controlled way to cut images out. So again, this is kind of random and you can custom cut things. And there's your selection. So Command C, Command V for copy and paste and you've now made that selection there. So a couple ways to cut images out of layers is you're using your marquee tools here to copy and paste or you can use your lasso tools to create a selection and copy and paste those. So I zoomed in here a little bit tighter just to show you the long way to copy and paste. So I've used my, I'm using my polygonal lasso tool. I come to the end of that, click it, and now I have my selection in place. The long way to copy and paste is go up to edit. There's the copy, the command or the control C. And then again under the edit, there's paste, command or control V. And then that pops it when you copy and paste it, it pops the selection into its own layer right there. If you want a more controlled kind of um, graphic image, down in here, there's the custom shape tool. Photoshop gives you a number of custom shapes, different trees and whatnot. There's some flowers here. I don't tend to use this a lot. If you shift and select it, then it changes the size of that. So you've got your shape layer here. You want to create the shape layer as a selection to collage something. You hover over this with the hand tool. Hold the control key down. Press and hold the control key on the PC or press and hold the command key on the Mac. So I'm pressing and holding those. You click the layer and then you can see it now creates the dancing ants to create the selection. So make sure I'm on the layer. So select the layer that you want. So I drag that layer up there. If I go copy and paste, com command or control C and command or control V, you can see now that I have created these different shapes. There's ways to um, cut things out of your own drawing, but that's a little bit more, there's more steps involved in that. Okay, so I'm just gonna work away here and try to make up some sort of decent looking collage with everything I've done. So 
So often I personally prefer things a little bit more simple. So, you know, just some like laying out the photos kind of the, with some cropping and some square or rectangular ratios are usually the way that I go. If you are collaging in Photoshop, some of the decent graphic options or enhancement options are down here in the layer styles or this FX button. You hit that, people tend to like stroke and drop shadows. So throwing a drop shadow on one, you can change the size, the angle of it, the opacity, and that usually kind of pops things off. Change the contour of it, there you go. So that's the drop shadow. You can just turn the effect off and turn the effect on. At any time, you can double click and then come and edit the effect if you want. And the other quick collaging thing inside of Photoshop is down here in the layer styles of the FX thing. You can throw a stroke on some stuff. You usually pick a color that's kind of inherent in the photo would make sense to, you know, put a stroke or a border around it. Go OK. And then you can increase the size of that. I'm going to go for more and make that a little bit more actual white rather than tinted. And there you go. Quick demo on cropping, dodge and burn, and collaging. And you know how to make selections and cut and crop things now.